Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hook up this humidifier to our uh, oxygen concentrator, which is right there. And uh, that's where you hook your uh, line to. And uh, that goes to the patient over there. And then it comes through the top, and we got to fill it to that little maximum thing right there. And so I'm going to show you how we hook that thing up right now. So if you look just behind there, there's this little... Uh, Velcro loop that the uh, bottle slips into. You just kind of push it down in there and it kind of holds it. And then you twist it so that that thing is pointed uh, to the side. And we're going to pull that off of there. And that is going to go right on that spigot there. And then we have another tube that we're going to hook on the top and then put it on where the oxygen comes out. But first we got to fill it with distilled water. You can also boil water, let it cool and use that but we're going to use distilled water today. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, so it's pretty easy. We just have to unscrew this top. Just pull that off. You want to make sure you got a little sterile area that you can put all this so it doesn't get contaminated. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pour our um, distilled water right up to that maximum level. All right, so I got the distilled water and we're just going to go ahead and fill it right on up there. I did wash my hands thoroughly before I started this whole procedure. Then we're going to take the the top of it, as you can see, it's right up to the maximum. That's where we want to have it. If I set it down, it should just kind of settle right at the very top of that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to set it right inside there. I want to make sure I got it right, looking at it. <laughs> and we're going to slide that on, and we're going to screw it right down on. There you go. You want to make sure you got a good seal, because you don't want it to, to leak. And uh, that's important. Now, we're going to pull this out. You're going to notice this one has threads. And the threads go right into the very top up there. You'll notice that this spins around. That's how you attach it. You just stick it right in there and uh, screw that right on. So let's rip this open. I'm going to pull that out. Get it all the way out there. And then we're going to go ahead. And that side right there is going to go in uh, to the actual oxygen uh, concentrator, that part there. So this is going to screw right in there. I'm just going to put it in there. I'm just going to twist it with my other hand. And that just twists it right down and tightens it up. And you want to make sure you don't cross thread it. So be careful. You want to have a good seal and uh, just get it on there properly. And that's ready to go. Now what we've got to do is we're going to take it over and we're going to put her on, on that little strap area on that oxygen concentrator. We want to make sure everything's together. That part right there is going to hook to the oxygen concentrator. All right, so anyway, to check it for leaks, we're going to put it on the machine, and we're going to hook everything up. And uh, then I'm going to put my finger right on this little port here, and within about three or four seconds, it's going to make a loud noise out of this back area. And that tells us that we've got a good seal. All right, so let's go over to our oxygen concentrator, and we're going to slip our bottle right into that Velcro strap. And uh, this uh, part right here, is going to hook on, let me make sure I got it in there right. <laughs> okay, this is going to hook on right here where the oxygen comes out of the machine. That's where I'm going to put that. And uh, then um, we're going to do our test. Uh, right now it's on uh, two liters. I got to move it up to three to do the test. And as you can see, we're just under two right now. That's uh, titrated down perfectly uh, for my mom. And um, but to do the test, we're going to have to push it up to three, and then we're going to put our finger over that little port, and it's going to give us that signal telling us that we're uh, ready to go and uh, the thing's going to be working properly. So let's go ahead and try doing that right now. All right, so to get this set up, I'm going to pull this one off, and then I'm going to slide it through the handle because I don't want it touching the floor because we're going to need to hook it onto that port that comes out of the bottle. And then we're going to slide this one on. We want to make sure we get it on there good and secure. It's kind of hard to do it with filming, and uh, so I'm going to smush it on there really good, get her on there. All right, looks like uh, we, a little blurry there, but we got it on. All right, now you can see it's coming through there, and uh, now we're going to turn it up to uh, three. So I'm going to bring it up to three liters, and now you can see when that ball gets up to three, then we can do our test. All right, so now we're at three. Now I'm going to put my finger over that. I'm going to hold it. Okay, that's the warning sign. Okay, so that means we're good. 
So now we gotta drop it down from three back down to two. We go right there. And now we have you to attach this right onto there. Okay. So we're gonna pull this through and we're gonna put it right on top of there. So this goes right. Um, now we gotta make sure the fittings are in, on there tight. There are. We'll see how that works. We have to change the water every day. So you can use tap water, but you have to uh, you have to boil it and then you have to let it cool before you use it. It feels uh, a little more fluid. Moist, yeah. Okay, good. All right, it seems to be working pretty good. Okay, peace out.